So I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this using the very beginner friendly power bridge kit. You do not need a lot of tools to get the installation done or experience. It's gonna keep things neat and tidy. The best part here, you're not gonna be breaking any electrical codes by putting extension cords or the TV power cord into the wall cavity. Now the first step here is really to just figure out exactly where you want to hang your TV and your media cabinet. In my case here, everything is already in place. So I'm gonna take some painter's tape, lightly press it onto the wall, just to mark out exactly where things are so I don't make any mistakes. Next thing you wanna do is just get everything out of the way. The bracket that I have here is one of these pull-out extension brackets, so I'm just gonna pull mine out and shift the TV over as far as it will go, and we'll push the media cabinet out of the way. Next up here, mark out any of the studs, any of the horizontal fire blocking, that's gonna help us plan the route. To find the studs, a stud sensor is going to be the best tool for the job if you need one. I highly recommend the Franklin sensors. You can purchase these off Amazon, as well as the Power Bridge kit. I'll put links to them in the description. Next step here now is to locate the two boxes that come in the Power Bridge kit. This one here is gonna go on the bottom. It's gonna jump power from an existing outlet. This one here is gonna go on the top where you're gonna end up plugging your TV cord into. Now, I've got a lot of things going on in my situation here. Over on this whole side here is a cold air return. You cannot put cables or wires in that return. It limits me to this little section here. I have a vacuum outlet and an electrical outlet. There's studs right coming along either side, the outside and the outside here. My best bet is gonna be to put the bottom one here where we jump the power over in line with this one right in the middle here. And then the top unit, I am going to locate it straight up top here. So in the kit, it does come with a little template. You pencil this onto the wall and then you're gonna cut that out. Um, you wanna kinda get it lined up vertically. If you don't have a level or a handy laser level, you could always just measure off this wall casing here and get things pretty close. Now when it comes to cutting out the box, throw a screw in the middle. That's gonna be a little handle so the piece doesn't fall inside the wall. And I prefer to use a utility knife here over the drywall saw just because it's a little safer in terms of you're not gonna stick that utility knife into the cavity like you would with a drywall saw and cut things behind the wall. So with the utility knife, just make a series of little cuts until you've cut all the way through the drywall and then pull that chunk out of there. But if you do own a multi-tool, go ahead and throw a mark on the blade so you don't cut too deep and then use that to cut out the square. That is going to be a hundred times quicker than the utility knife or the drywall saw. Next up here, if we want to test out the holes that we've cut out and make sure the receptacles are going to fit in nicely. Before we install these though, we want to run all the wires. It's going to be way easier than trying to thread the needle here. When it comes to the HDMI cables, go ahead and throw an extra one to two cables in right off the bat. That way in the future, if you ever wanna hook up something else, the cables are already in there, a gaming system, maybe you wanna bring back the DVD player, then you can play all your DVDs from the 90s that your wife has been trying to throw away for the last 20 years. And then the other cable that you want to put in is the Romex power cable that comes with the Power Bridge kit. You cannot just put your TV cord down in through the wall cavity or an extension cord. Those are not gonna be properly rated and that is against the electrical code. The Romex wire that comes with the kit is, and this is what you wanna use. It comes pre-stripped on both ends too and it's gonna connect very easily to the little boxes that they give you in the kit. To wire up the boxes, it's the same for both the top and the bottom box. The first thing you wanna do is throw on the shield box, run the wires through there, and then you want to push them into the box connectors. I found it easiest to get the wires all kind of oriented, orientated in the way that you can push them all in at the same time. The ground, the bare brass wire is gonna go into the green screw area. The, um, the white wire is gonna go into the silver screw and the black or the red, the hot wire is gonna go into the brass colored screw. Push those all in at the same time. Then you wanna tighten up the connections with a Phillips screwdriver or a flat screwdriver. Tighten those nuts in uh, the screws nice and tight. Give the wire a tug just to make sure that it is connected and it's not going to pull out. 
Once you get that in place, slide up that shield box all the way up and then connect it with the provided screws and the Allen key that come in the kit. Snug those up nice and tight. And then the final step here is to put on the little wire clip at the back that just snaps into place and folds in and clips in. That's gonna provide a code compliant connection into the box. The last step here really is to install the boxes. Couldn't be easier shove the boxes in the hole. I ended up pushing my power wire off to the right just to keep it out of the way. Then you wanna just spin the cover plate screws. That'll flip out the little lever in the back that is gonna hold it nice and tight on the drywall. Line up your box nice and straight. When you get those screws snugged up nice and tight, line them up vertically. That is gonna make your electrician friends very happy when they come over. Final step, jump the power at the bottom with a provided cord. Get that hooked up, hook up your TV, hook up your cable boxes, slide everything back into place, and you are done. Absolutely beautiful. And if you don't end up having an electrical outlet behind your media cabinet and you need to move it from another location, and you wanna move it behind your TV, there's an excellent video on my buddy Scott's channel. You can check that out right over here. Maybe you wanna fire up a DVD collection that you had from the 90s that your wife has been Trying to get, trying you to, oh, that joke. Land in the plane on that joke. Put on your 90s DVD collection that your wife has been trying to, trying you, oh my God.